We were talking about the police shooting death of uh, Walter Wallace Jr., which has been met with angry protests, not surprisingly, and some instances of looting in the key battleground state of Pennsylvania. And I guess people are kind of trying to figure out how this is going to play out in Pennsylvania. What do you think, Anna? Is it, is it, are people going to be swayed by this? Look, I think it plays right into Donald Trump's playbook, right? Law and order. Uh, him saying that he's going to keep the suburbs safe, that he's going to rescue the suburbs, which is code words for I'm going to keep the black and brown people out of the suburbs, white people, so please vote for me. Look, it's, uh, it, is, it is very helpful to Donald Trump, and it is happening in um, Philadelphia, the biggest city in, the, in a swing state of Pennsylvania. But it's also being viewed by the entire world. And Donald Trump likes to say, this is Joe Biden's America. Here's the problem with that. George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, Walter Wallace Jr., all of that has happened in Donald Trump's America. He's been president for four years. And when we see the break, the racial tensions, when we see what's happening, and so on the one hand, yes, it plays into Trump's hands, right? The law and order narrative. But on the other hand, Looting is inexcusable and it is unacceptable. But it is also unacceptable that we continue to see black men and black women shot and killed needlessly. That we continue to hear the wailings of their mothers and their loved ones. That we continue to see this and there is no change and no explanation. So how do you tell people? How do you tell people to just accept it, to not react, to not be angry. Looting is not the answer. Looting is not the answer. But damn it, shooting black That's people, continuing to shoot black people, cannot continue to go on without consequences and changes in America. Amen to that. Um, I, Amen. You know, we're getting ready to go to break again, you know. But before we do, Listen, we, we're all Americans here. Cops don't want this job. They don't want to shoot people. They don't want to kill people. I, I, I've known too many like Sonny, like most of us. We know police officers. This is not the reason they became officers. When we talk about why people are angry, these are the things that make you angry because they happen day after day, time after time. And then you get people who come out and say, no, we explained everything. And then you find out they didn't give you the information as the, that DA fella uh, in Louisville. You know, I, I just, people don't want this anymore. So I'm hoping that whatever happens in the coming days, you don't chalk this up to America not caring or America on fire. Chalk this up to we need to make change in law enforcement and in ourselves.